So a quick video on how to get uh, Groovy Arcade installed and running on your machine um, and getting running 15k as well. So I've got a Dell PC. Uh, I've written the, the latest ISO file to a USB stick and I'm just about to boot off it. So I'm going to choose USB storage to boot. Choose our video mode. So we're running on an LCD monitor. Just going to choose that one. Now this is running off the uh, the USB stick itself, and you can carry on running it like that if you want, but it's much easier to actually install it. So we're going to go on to um, HD installation and partition tools because you want to install it straight away. First thing you need to do, if your hard disk has got any existing partitions on, you have to clear them off because you can't you can't then you can't create and choose partitions when you've already got um, maybe you've got Windows. For instance, partitions on there. So, we're going to partition manager. And say yes to the prompts and choose your device. So, mine's the top one. There's 128 gig, 120 gig um, SSD drive. See that at the top, you've got those devices. There you go. So, those are those are existing Linux partitions. That we're going to we're going to clear those off in preparation to install. So, with the top one highlighted at the bottom, we've got quit. Move it across to delete. Press enter. Back up to the top, and you see that's now changed to free space. You go down and then across, delete, and then same again. That last one, oops, delete. Then you need to write, and that answering yes there erases the partitions. Okay, and then you can quit and cancel. Down to hard drive installation, install to disk, yes. Don't bother setting networking, audio or video yet. Set the monitor type to LCD. And say yes. No. No. Yes. That's the drive we just emptied, so we're okay there. And we're going to do yes. And then we'll start to copy the files over. There we go. I'm going to pause the video here and I'll come back when it's nearly finished. Okay, it's finished copying the files. Just creating the partitions now. Okay. Okay. Now we mentioned CD-ROM. It just means USB. So it just means yeah. You need to you need to remove the USB. Otherwise, it's going to boot off the USB again. So you're going to say yes. The system, yeah, when we're doing that, we'll quickly remove the USB from there, so that's now out. So now you know it's booting from, it's been booting from the hard disk. Of course, we didn't say any video mode there, so it's going to vote, it's going to, it's going to boot in 31k, as it was before. And it goes straight into the front end. By default, which is this, and just to prove, I'm gonna just a quick, let me just show you my options here. So there you go, 640 by 480, 31k. So we're definitely running in a in 31k. So we're gonna to to press Escape at this this point and exit, and that gets us back into the setup menu. Uh, and then we're gonna do sort of video. So we're gonna to switch to 15k now. So. There's lots of just pressing enter here. So you do video, want to type generic 15.7 kilohertz. Now if you've got a, now there's other monitor profiles on there as well. So if you've got a specific monitor, have a look through there. Um, and you might find yours. You get better mode line um, compatibility. So you're gonna say yes to that. Let's see, it's disabling LCD. Okay, monitor orientation, we're in horizontal. Aspect, 4x3, vertical games, normal. I'm going to skip that next one because we've, we've already been, we've already disabled that. If you do click on it, you just get an error message. Uh, video boot options. Okay, so video card output. We're going to choose DVI, which is my, I've got two ports on here, DVI and DisplayPort, but 
Um, I'm using a VGA adapter via um, DVI, so click on that one. Then CGA 15K, that's what he wants. Yep. And say yes to that. We're done there. Now we go to this one, and we're going to choose again DVI 1, 15 kilohertz, which is the top one. Turn to main. Um, that's just about the, the boot time out for the, for the splash screens. Custom and presets video mode. Okay, so we go into here. Xhog desktop. Now the, the front end runs within an X Windows environment, so we're going to need to manually set our um, resolution here, which is going to be 240p, so it's 320 by 240, 60. Press OK. New mode lines generated. OK, that's fine. Uh, main switch res presets are not too considered about. Too con about there we go, yes, yes, return to main, return to main, return to main, reboot, reboot, really reboot, yeah, really reboot, really, really, really reboot. You probably can't notice, but that's, there we go, that is actually running in a, and 15 kilohertz, so we'll just prove that. We're going to press go to the menus on my monitor, which does display thankfully 15k. Go down to here, and it should say 720 by 240. And there you go 720 by 240, 15 kilohertz, and 60 hertz. And now we can actually, um, if we want, if we didn't want this front end, we wanted to use a track mode, which is frankly a much better front end. We're going to go into setup. Front end window manager track mode. Okay, turn to main, turn to main, start front end, and there you go. You probably see it's pretty fuzzy um, because it's running in the same desktop resolution. Um, you'll see it's the same again 240p. And there you go, yeah. So that's it. That's how you get that far anyway. Um, if you want to, when you're transferring ROMs and things, just go back to the main menu. There's a file manager on there, so you can either set up networked or you can um, you can plug in your put your put your ROMs onto a USB stick. Go in there, and you can you can then use this file manager to copy your ROM files across. Um, but that is it for now. That was just uh, let me just go. So it says F10 is good to quit. Yes. That's it all running.